We're now joined by Horst Löschel from the Frankfurt School of Finance and Management. Is the comparison drawn in that report we just saw fair? Can, can you actually compare the billions spent on saving Europe with the public sector's wage demands here? From my, from my point of view, no. There's a two different developments. The one is about stabilise the development in the euro area and the other is a distribution conflict within Germany. This is two different things. Mm -hmm. One thing we do have to point out, though, is that compared to other EU countries, Germany had by far the lowest increase in real wages, that is, wages adjusted for inflation. If we take a look at the development since 2000, Norway had an increase of nearly 30 percent, Greece coming close behind, and in Germany, we even had, as the only ones in the EU, a decline in real wages. Mm -hmm. What effect has this been having on the German economy? Overall, the effect was very positive. Germany, the German economy is one of the winners mm. of the global financial crisis, as particularly because of the exports, and this is because of the wage development, which makes German goods and services on the world market much, much more competitive. Well, some voices in the EU argue that this is giving Germany an unfair advantage, keeping wages so low. Are they justified claims? I think it's now up to these countries to also take care on this kind of wage developments. We have to see in Germany before the crisis we had an unemployment rate around 8%. For this kind of development, it's very natural that the, way the real wage development is low, right? And this is, has now to be the case for these countries with the high uh, unemployment now. So in other words, Germany's been doing it saving, the others have to catch up exactly, in that respect. Exactly. The European debt crisis is obviously far from over. Uh, we can't exclude there could be further bailouts at the moment. Who do you think could be next? I mean, the problem is surely Spain. There's already the, the announcement probably that the Spain government will not fulfil mm -hmm. the now agreed targets about the fiscal deficit in the current year. But I'm still hoping that the European government will find a solution for that. Otherwise, we get really in trouble because the Spain problem is much, much larger than the Greece problem still in volume. Sure. What about the situation, though, in Greece? How, how do you think that's going to develop? And, and this new rescue package, the new haircut as mm. well, it, it, are they going to do the trick? I think the last bailout and uh, in combination with the haircut is a big step forward. And I hope very much that the Greek government and the Greek people will do it to launch the structural changes needed to get rid of this crazy sovereign debt increase. Mr. Lesher, thank you very much for your time.